So, you know, I lived in Colorado, right, for, you know, grew up in Brazil and Sao Paulo, but lived in Boulder for, for three and a half years from uh, when I was uh, 20 until uh, 23. So it was a very different life. Just, uh, it, you know, everyone driving a Subaru, brewing their own beer. Uh, and, yeah. uh, um, you know, Boulder is a very special place in, in, at least it has a very special place in my heart. I'd love to learn more. How was your your childhood like? How was it growing up in Colorado? And um, like, just before we start talking about adventure stuff, like, what's the story of your life? Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I'm close to being a Colorado native. I I uh, I think it was I was about five or six when I first moved to Colorado, and um, and so I don't really remember too much else. And and now at, at the age that I am, just just turned 40 and I'm, I'm feeling much older, but, um, wow, you don't look 40 at I've, all. I've now got, yeah, <laughs> that's what people say. And yet I feel like I'm 60, you know, I don't get any sort of benefit at all of that in terms of how it feels to wake up as me. But, um, yeah, no, so I've got a couple of young kids and I think that the thing that I would say about growing up in Colorado is that, um, like I didn't get to choose that, you know, that was something that my parents sort of, you know, uh, dictated for me. And yet, um, I feel tremendously fortunate, you know, to have done that. I, it, I don't think at the time I realized it, but just sort of all the, the kind of stereotypical things about Colorado, the, uh, brew your own beer, all that stuff, but the outdoor lifestyle, you know, like having access to the mountains and all that stuff. And I think that, you know, um, still today, but certainly as I was growing up here, I think that Colorado still has at least enough of the kind of vibe that it was founded upon. Right. Which was like, we, you know, um, sort of take risks. We, you know, go across the sort of whole Midwest through the mountains to find gold. And, but we're also sort of, you know, all kind of new here and it's not home to any of us. And we're, you know, kind of embracing of, um, you know, other people being here. And so, you know, uh, for me, the, the story is tremendously fortunate, um, to have grown up here, not having the choice. And so I always felt the need to, um, to kind of come back here and start a family to karma, like, you know, to pass that on to my kids. And it, it was extremely convenient that the technology scene is what it is here, you know, and I think that there's still something about this entrepreneurial spirit and, you know, the way that Colorado was first settled. So, uh, it, it set up very nicely to come home, you know, and, and kind of get to enjoy still a lot of family that lives here, raise kids here and also be in a, in a place where, you know, there's a, a healthy technology ecosystem and, and all that. So, you know, no place I'd rather be really. I could do a little bit at this age without the winters, but other than that, we're, we're all set. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I mean, I, I lived in Boulder right for three years. I, uh, I loved it. It was, uh, it was wonderful. It's when I started my first company and I learned, um, and then joining, joining SendGrid back when, when Techstars was just a bunker. Um, <laughs> it was a very yeah. different, different time. And, it's um colorado is a really special place I, the only reason why i decided to move uh to miami versus con considering colorado actually there are two mm. but one of them is is the winter i um i i am i have no problem with the heat but i just don't like um layering up never been that big of a fan of uh, all the snow sports although the nature is spectacular uh, yeah. And Colorado is, a, I think, it's one of the happiest states as well. People are genuinely happy to live in Colorado, and differently than you know, in California, they don't have an attitude about the fact that they appreciate what they have. <laughs> so it's a, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a good humil, it's a combination of happiness and humility that I certainly appreciate. Yeah, no, for sure, I, and uh, I, I, I do enjoy skiing. I'm a, I grew up skiing. Unfortunately, uh, one of the downsides of the growth in Colorado has been, you know, access to, you know, um, the the reality of skiing, you know, on weekends, for example. I mean, the traffic has just gotten so bad. So I do a little bit less of that. And I agree I could probably, in the absence of actually skiing, you know, do do away with the, the winter um, stuff. But yeah, no, it's a great place. You know, people are all, you know, happy to be here. And I think it's great, the growth, right? Even if it, the cost of sort of ski traffic what have you because um you know for the most part we're all new here right even if you grew up here uh everybody 
came here at, at some point and uh, the more the merrier. And, and we've seemed to maintain the culture of, you know, we're all sort of happy to be here and we're welcoming, welcoming of others and what have you. So yeah. we're here for it. Now, I've had many special moments in, in Colorado. It was the first time I was offered a term sheet for my first company where I did all the fuck ups at the same time in a condensed amount of 12 months as a first time founder. Yeah. And you just like never forget that. Right. <laughs> I mean, like there's all you always remember where you were in that moment and uh, the horrifying mistakes that you made and all that. Right. Yeah. So, no, but I have uh, one of forget. the most uh, special friends I have in our world of venture capital is uh, one of the founders of this firm called uh, Range Ventures. Uh, Adam Burroughs, mm -hmm. and you know he's uh, is a longtime friend. He used to work at um, at uh, Service Magic, that then you know merged with Andrew, yeah. uh, when Andrew's List became this like seven billion dollar public company. The only company to this date to figure out how to make that category profitable. Um, and there yeah. have been so many YC startups that you know, failed miserably, and it's uh, we we. I, he, the relationship I have with Adam is, I think, the most pre one of the most precious ones I have because we managed to continue to play different games in different chapters of our lives, but with the same values mm -hmm. and principles. So, you know, ended up becoming an LP in range. Uh, also made the introduction for the first family office. They wrote the first large, like, like a, you know, that first moment when you're raising your fund and you receive one first large check because yeah, he yeah. was just kind of yeah. like passing the hat along and now you know they've had uh, multiple up rounds and um and they are a big um believer in, in into the local ecosystem as older players um don't work with the same type of uh, positive violence if you may because it's also comfortable sure. in a way right and then so competition is, is is always really good and i think it's it's wonderful to see what's happening with 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 the ecosystem in in, in Colorado, um, yeah. 